Want to see how this curling tong from Kmart works? Well, keep watching. Hi guys, it's Kimberly Day here. And today I'm super excited because I'm going to be doing a review and tutorial using this Kmart 25 millimeter curling tong. Okay, so this is it here out of the box and it has an on and off switch here. It has a time button and it has a plus and minus which is for the temperature. So we'll flick it on. You'll be able to see here that the LCD screen flicks on and goes to 150 degrees. Now we're going to press the plus button because we want it to go up to 200 degrees which is the hottest. Okay, so I've let it heat up for a couple of minutes. Now it says here there's a timer on here. So there's a five second, eight second or 10 second timer. So apparently you set it before each curl and it will beep after that many seconds. But personally, I'm not going to do that because that's gonna take forever if you have to press that button before you curl each piece. So we're gonna skip that part but I might show you just on one piece that it does beep. So I do know that I probably have the thinnest hair you've ever seen. You don't need to leave that comment below, but what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be curling my hair and I'm going to be curling some human hair extensions that do match my hair perfectly. So obviously the thicker the hair, the higher the temperature you're going to need. I'm gonna try it on 170 first. I probably will end up going up to 200. So when you're using any heated curling tongs, straightening irons, anything like that, make sure you use a heat protector. Otherwise it's like going out in the sun without sunscreen. So spritz that on. Now it says in the instructions, it's best to have your hair 80% dry when doing that. 100% don't follow the instructions with the 80% dry. Do not do it on wet hair. So use a sectioning clip and you're going to clip up the hair. Now the larger the chunks of hair that you use, the looser the curl. So I'm not going for a super tight curl. So you can take larger sections, but yes, if you do take small sections, you're going to get a much tighter curl. So grab your section. Then you're going to clamp it on and wind it up. So there we've got one curl and you're just working your way around the head. So the easiest way is if you grab, so you've sectioned your bit there, then divide it in half like that and do your pieces down this side and do your pieces down that side. So now we'll come this section so obviously, if your hair is quite fine like mine, 170 degrees works perfectly with this. If you do have thicker hair, you'll need to put it on 200. So I usually count to about five in my head and then undo it and you've got that curl. So then we come to this side. Always be careful of your ear. Trust me, I've burnt my ear so many times. You'll realize how hot it is once you burn the tips of your ears. So you can come each section as you go. You can come through with just something like a very, very light hold hairspray or finishing spray. Spray a bit on there and then move your way up to the next part. So when you're going around your face, you want to make sure the curl is going that way because you don't want to have it so when you curl it, a little piece sticks out on your face here. So when you put it in, you're going to be winding it away from the face so the curl goes that way and if you have any bits like this that stick out when you're taking it out you can just ever so slightly lift this and then clamp it on your way out and it will curl the ends like that now don't stress when you do it if you think oh my god the curls are too tight doesn't matter they're better to be tighter in the beginning because they're always going to drop so the top layer you don't want your curls starting from the roots so when you're curling, you're only going to be winding the hair halfway up, not right up to the roots, because if you go right up to the roots, you're gonna have Shirley Temple sort of curls. So that's not what we're going for. If that's what you like, feel free to do that, but that's not what we're going for today. So if you do it to there, you can still come through and put some volume in later. Now I'm going to leave this bit here straight and I'll come back with the straightening iron on that bit. Okay so my hair is now curled and I'll just quickly spray a little bit of setting spray on there. 
Now this is not stronghold hairspray, so even if you put a lot in it, it's not gonna go crunchy. Now I'm going to curl my hair extensions. Now the easiest way to style hair extensions is with one of these pants hangers. So grab the little clip, clip it on here, and then you do the same on to the other side. It's the easiest way to style or dry your hair extensions or even store them. So I've clipped that on there like that. Normally I just clip it onto a door handle with the hanger end that moves and style it like that, which is gonna be a little bit hard for this video. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm gonna use Linda here and I'll clip the hair extensions onto her head and then you can see how I do it from there. Okay, so for the sake of the video, I've put Linda here and I'm gonna clip these hair extensions onto her head. I've turned it up to 200 degrees and I'll just spray some heat protector on it. Any human hair you need to spray with heat protector. So remember the smaller the section, the curlier it will be. Now remember, if your hair extensions are not human hair, any heated implements like this will melt them. If you start to curl it and the hair starts melting, it means that they are not human hair. This tip of the curling iron is not hot. So it's only anything metal is very hot. So if you want to see how the feature works where it beeps after five seconds, eight seconds, or 10 seconds, I'll do that now. So take your section, wind it up, and then press the little clock button, and then it beeps after the five seconds. So I'll keep going, and I'll see you once I've finished curling my hair extension. Okay, so I've clipped in the hair extension with this bit here that I straightened. I'm just gonna come back with the curling tong, and you just want to slightly tuck the end because you don't want it to look weird. So, this stage we've got it, it's super curly. Now we're just gonna hit it with the hairspray again. Now, you can leave it like this, super curly, but that's not what we're going for. So I'm gonna come back with a brush or comb. You can use your fingers as well, and I'm just going to comb it out. So you're just trying to make it a softer, curled look. So see how you've got a softer, wavier sort of look? And the more you brush it or run your fingers through it, the looser it will go. You will find human hair extensions, the curl will last a lot longer than in your own hair, especially if you do have fine hair. So then you can come through with some serum, just about one pump, and run your fingers through like that. Now don't put the serum at your roots because you don't want your hair flat and oily looking. But you can come through on any pieces and this just takes the fluff away. Now I also like to spray dry shampoo at my roots because it gives me some extra volume. And if I've got a regrowth like I do, it helps cover that up as well. You can wear it like this, just the curls pulled out with a little bit of serum in there and a little bit of volume at the top or you can pull it to the side and put it in a hair clip or ponytail like that so you've got more of a side pony look. You can even come through and put a fascinator or something in it as well so that way you're ready for Melbourne Cup or you can put it in a ponytail at the back and have more of the curls at the back. You could even upstyle it if you wanted to and have the curls up the top there. Let me know down below if you've ever curled your hair, whether it was a disaster or whether it was a success. So that's using the Kmart curling iron. You can't really go wrong. Now it is a lot easier to curl someone else's hair rather than your own. So do remember that maybe practice on your friends or your children's hair and get used to it first. You can get a really good style for not very much money. So I do highly recommend this curling iron from Kmart. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.